Hello guys, my name is Adam Leonardo Cap and welcome to my channel. Today I am going to explain about K sense which refers as kinetic essence. First of all, we are going to understand that what is K sense and why do we need it and then second we try to understand that how to study K sense. So let's get started. The first question is what is then K sense? Now we all know that the, our universe is basically expanding with some acceleration and this acceleration has some kind of push from the dark energy. Now in order to understand the dark energy, we have proposed several several, several different different matters. First we understood about quintessence. So in the quintessence we saw that the quintessence can explain dark energy but it needs some kind of a fine tuning and now the quintessence is actually creating some kind of a problem that why do we require such kind of fine tuning in our system therefore people have worked out that okay there could be some kind of a different mechanism so that some different kind of field can explain dark energy therefore we are trying to understand kinetic cases that it is some kind of a different field and we will learn about it what kind of field it is and then we will see that how does it explain the dark energy what I'm going to show you that why how to study it let me first compare with quintessence that how quintessence and key essence is different from their structure okay let me start with action and action consists with first of all we already know that this action is consist with Einstein Hilbert action with some Ricky scalar and kappa square and plus some Lagrangian term which we are labeled as the quintessence and this Lagrangian term this Lagrangian is constituted with like phi dot squared minus of v phi we will having the same scenario like this one but with this we are having some extra term like minus of l of phi comma x so what is this phi and what is this x phi is corresponds to some kind of a field and x is telling its kinetic energy which is given by phi dot squared so this is actually going like this x square will be 1 by 4 phi dot to the power 4 so in the k in the quintessence we are writing phi dot simply d mu phi d mu phi and here what we are doing basically we are enclosing this phi dot square with the additional term x and therefore we are treating phi and x in a different way now here you may see that this lm is a function of phi some kind of field and then there is a some kind of an this derivative of this field but here the lagrangian is dependent on the field and the some kind kinetic term and this kinetic term is be, uh, because of the presence of this kinetic term this lagrangian becomes non canonical and since here there is no any such kind of kinetic term just only involvement of phi dot or d mu phi therefore this lagrangian is called or this condition is called canonical so they have first of all they have the structure difference the structure in quintessence is simply involvement with the derivative phi dot squared and here it has some kind of a kinetic term which is consist of higher order of phi dot squared okay so here phi and phi the derivative exists but here the higher power of derivative exists so here is a field and a some kind of an object and we are treating phi and x as an independent quantity i had now i had discussed earlier that the in quintessence rho phi is half phi dot squared plus v phi and p phi is equal to half phi dot squared minus v phi and therefore we are defining an equation of a state which is responsible to actually giving us what kind of dynamics it will gonna play therefore it is saying that half phi dot square minus v phi over half phi dot square plus v phi and in order to produce the late time cosmic acceleration which is omega to be minus one we have said that this half phi dot square is compared to v phi is very very small so it means that phi dot is very very small to v phi hence we are getting that minus of b phi over b phi so this is one kind of a setting fine tuning thing so we have assumed something in the quintessence and then we are getting some result while we will see in a minute that we don't need to assume anything for the for the study of k sense and everything will actually telling you dynamically so we will see in a minute 
This is the action corresponds to KSNs where we know this is the Einstein Hilbert action and with and with minus sign we have this KSNs Lagrangian and we are we are trying to understand the action by varying the action with respect to the G mu nu okay then we will get the energy momentum tensor corresponds to, to this field and from here we will get Einstein's field equation g mu nu is equal to kappa is equal to t mu nu. So first of all, if we vary the action with respect to the metric, that is the meaning of it, we will get t mu nu. And from this t mu nu, we will compute the energy density and as well as the pressure of this field. Now, if you compute the action with, with the variation of action with respect to g mu nu, it came out to be the pressure of this field is basically negative of this Lagrangian that we have taken. So for here we are saying that the action will simply become d4x square root of minus g some r over kappa square plus square root of minus g and p phi comma x. Therefore this Lagrangian has itself consist with the pressure of this field. Now, first of all, what could be the pressure of this field? The simply the, the first of all, when people have studied this pressure, they have studied this Lagrangian from the string theory and from there they found that this Lagrangian, this pressure has the specific kind of form which is some kind of an potential which is depend on the phi and it turns out that this has some specific form like x square minus x. Therefore, they are saying that it has some kind of a form of f comma x. Okay, so you may also think about this one. This f p of phi comma x have some kind of a power law expansion where they can say where they say that okay there is some kind of function which is depend on phi and we can expand this x in terms of power law like k phi plus l phi x squared and so on and so forth. And from that some transformation they found that this came out to be x square minus x okay so that is the basic ingredient of this thing and people have studied the case since with respect to this kinetic form and you know that since kinetic because of x is the phi dot square and therefore this x square will become 1 by 4 phi dot 4 hence the theory is become highly nonlinear now we understood what is the pressure of this field now we want to understand that what could be the density of this field therefore the density of the field will came out to be 2x f comma x minus f and this f is basically tells you that you can choose different different uh, different different form from this like fx can be selected as ax plus bx square and from there you can also select that a could be minus and b is one b is one so that can happen okay f comma x is telling you that this function is derivative of x okay so now because of the presence of this f term the energy density becomes highly nonlinear. in the quintessence we saw that the energy density is simply 1 by phi dot square plus v phi and so on but here they have a very complicated form because now the potential is basically multiplying with this nonlinear term this xn has this phi therefore we can simply vary this xn with respect to phi and we will get the equation of motion corresponds to this phi therefore we will get this kind of equation of motion corresponds to this case hence you can see you can understand that f comma x plus 2x f comma x s and then there is a field with having double dot and this double dot means that d2 phi over dt squared because this field is time dependent and similarly this h is telling you that this is corresponds to the Hubble and we are studying in the flat FLRW okay where the geometry is simply minus dt square plus a square dx square plus a square dx square okay so the geometry of the background is homogeneous isotropic as well as flat therefore we got the hubble parameter like a dot over a and dot is the same thing therefore this h is coming from there which is coupled with phi dot and again the some nilid kinetic term some non-linear kinetic term having the v phi and this v phi is what dv over d phi okay and these they are equal to zero therefore this is the equation of motion for the for this field 
Now, very important that what does this equation is actually telling us? What does this Lagrangian is telling us about the physics that we are going to get? Because this is whole lot of mathematics. But we want to understand the bigger picture of this phenomena. So we want to calculate or uh, calculate about equation of state. We need to calculate equation of state in order to understand it. Therefore, P over rho. So now P is V into F and rho is V into 2x f comma x minus f and hence this says that this vv is cancelling out and therefore omega is f over 2x f comma x now omega has become the non-linear term and when we, when the people have studied because you know if you are writing the hubble uh, friedman equation we can simply write that kappa is squared therefore rho phi okay this is the total basically this is the total energy density and if you are contributing that okay there is some kind of an energy density from the radiation and as well as energy density from the matter and uh, matter means the pressureless matter corresponds to dark matter and if you want to understand about the second hubble equation which says that p phi plus p radiation plus p matter okay if you are taking this everything in account and if you plot the omega okay some omega is time dependent and with respect to the rate shift some log of 1 plus z okay so let us say this is 0 this is 1 by third and this is minus 1 then you know the universe was first radiation the universe was filled with radiation therefore for some time for some z the universe the equation of the state the total equation of the state the total equation of the state is corresponds to like omega total is p matter plus p radiation plus p phi which is corresponds to this one and then again rho m plus rho r plus rho phi so if you want to understand of this thing what we are getting from this whole analysis we say that for some time the universe is showing the omega is equal to 1 by 3 means that universe is in radiation epoch then it is coming down and crossing the zero for some brief time okay some brief time and then again it is basically going towards minus one which actually says that the equation of state you know the equation of state of ksn is such that because we have taken the energy density corresponds to radiation so assuming that the universe has already the radiation epoch if the radiation epoch is there it means that there should not be any other epoch therefore omega is omega uh, therefore equation of the state must be 1 by third 1 by third is corresponds to radiation so if I, if it if the radiation if the equation of the state is corresponds to 1 by 3 it means that the other equation of the states is less dominant therefore it says that dynamically it is as if that omega is simply zero for the cases okay now again if we go that as the universe has evolved this rho is rho m is dominated and how this dominated we are saying that this omega rho m is basically becoming to zero and here also this omega is actually zero so it is sub dominant but you may ask that okay omega phi is also zero and omega m is zero how is it possible then we can how can we distinguish if you plot this rho phi and rho m you will see that this rho phi over rho m they will be very much small which says that rho m becomes very high and therefore this corresponds to matter and then as the universe goes in the matter dominated and then it is going to take now the universe is actually going towards minus one and from here it says that omega phi means that the energy density corresponds to the k sense is actually dominating the whole universe because now if we see the plot of rho m over rho phi over rho m it is basically greater than one which says that rho phi is getting bigger than rho m therefore whatever the you, uh, omega you are seeing here that it is increasing towards minus one it is because of the ksns so whatever you are seeing it is completely a dynamics we have not fixed anything we have not set any value of f or either any or potential so it's it's simply taking down the universe in the accelerated region therefore and therefore we are saying that the k sense is 
actually taking care of cosmological coincidence which you are seeing in the quintessence or lambda CDM model where you have to invoke something by your hand and you demand that okay I need minus one kind of solution but here the minus one kind of solution you are getting dynamically so that is the uh, that is the whole lot of you know simplified picture of KSNs and then in the next video I am going to explain that a KSNs also can behave like a dark matter now it is behaving like dark energy but it can also behave like a dark matter so we will explore little by little more about KSNs so if you like this video, please do subscribe and share to your friends. Thank you very much. See you later.